my name is Gemma Ann Barnes and I'm a vocal coach and singing teacher. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to give you my top tips on how to sing pop for musical theatre singers. Now singing pop is very different to singing musical theatre, especially if it's a more legit, more standard, more classical sound of musical theatre that you're singing. In pop you have a lot more freedom. You can do anything you want to do, so you are free to find your unique sound, style and voice. So let's get started. Here are my four top tips on how to sing pop. Okay, top tip number one, drop your diction. Yeah, you heard me right. In musical theatre, we need our diction to be really clear because we want every single word to be heard so that the story we're telling is fully understood. In pop, you don't need to worry too much about your words, about your diction, because the emotion and the style is what really tells the story. So let's try this one. All we're going to do is I Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake. Let's give it a go, musical theatre style. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. Sounds a little bit funny, right? So let's just drop our diction, even if it's just a touch, to see what difference it makes. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home. We're flying out, no ceiling when I'm in my zone. Yeah? Hear the difference? Even if it's ever so slightly, it just takes it from being that strict musical theatre sound to a slightly more relaxed, more connected emotionally pop sound. The second tip I'm going to give you is alter your larynx position. In musical theatre, generally we're singing with a neutral to low larynx, depending on how rich and dark you want the tones to be. And maybe if you're singing a legit or classical piece of music, it's going to be a lower larynx. In pop, we're singing with a neutral to high larynx. So first of all, I just want you to swallow and feel your larynx go up. That high position, we're gonna sing there and we're also gonna sing with a low dopey larynx. So we're gonna try both out to see how they sound and how they feel. We're going to sing Jackson 5, I Want You Back, just the first line. So in your high larynx first, when I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Now with a low larynx. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Yeah? Hear the difference? Feel the difference? Give it a try. Sing your song or sing a line of your song with a low larynx and sing it with a high larynx and see what the difference is. Trust me, if you're singing with a high larynx, it's going to have that brighter, lighter, younger, poppier sound. Give it a try. Singing with a high larynx has earned itself a little bit of a bad reputation. This is because it can encourage vocal tension. But as long as you're balancing it out with other larynx positions and using it safely, it really can be a great tool to use. My next tip, play with the rhythm. In pop, you don't have to sing what's written on the page. So get creative, be playful. Let's take Elton John's Your Song. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. Now let's play with the rhythm, even if it's just a little bit. It's a little bit funny, this feeling inside. Even just a small thing like that changes the song and makes it your own, especially if you're doing it more than once throughout the song. So next time you're singing a pop song, just play around, be creative, and don't feel like you have to stick to the structure of the song. It's not musical theatre, it's pop. You are free to do whatever you like with it. My fourth tip is try adding some style with slides. So sliding off of a note or sliding on to a note. This is a really easy and cool tool to use. It can make it a little bit creepy or it can make it sound a little bit jazzy. You'll hear it heard a lot in music from Michael Bublé, Nina Simone, Etta James. At last, those kind of slidey jazzy sounds. This is a really effective tool to use. 
and it's super easy. So we're going to use Avril Lavigne's Complicated for this one. We're going to slide up onto the note first. Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're acting like you're somebody else gets me frustrated. Life's like this you. Now let's try sliding off of the note with One Republic's Apologise. It's too late to apologise. It's too late. I said it's too late to apologise. It's too late. Oh, So next time you're singing your song, really experiment with those slides. Slide up onto the note, slide off of the note, because it just makes it that little bit different, that little bit interesting. Do be cautious not to add it to everything, or you can make the song sound a little bit dizzy, and the listener might feel like they're dizzy or drunk. <laughs> so use them effectively, but not all of the time. Give that a try next time you're singing your pop song. Now I know what you're thinking. She said she was gonna give us four tips and this is definitely the fifth one. Now you're correct in thinking that, but I wanted to give you a little bonus tip. In fact, I wanted to talk about riffs. Now riffs can be quite intimidating for some people, but I really do believe they're like the cherry on top of the cake when used appropriately and not overdone. If you're unsure about how to tackle riffs, then I recently put on my Instagram page, at Gemma Ann Barnes, a four step breakdown of how to do a riff, so check that out. If you do love a riff, or if you can do a riff, then add those to your songs, they add that extra bit of flavour, like a little sprinkle of hundreds and thousands on the top of your cake. And if you're a riff fan, and you haven't checked out Breaking Down the Riffs with Natalie Weiss, oh my goodness, I highly recommend it, so go check it out at the end of this video. Now let's do a quick overview over everything that we have covered in this tutorial. So my top four tips for how to sing pop, drop your diction, lift your larynx, play with rhythm, play with some slides and add in a riff or two if you feel confident. Hopefully you found this video useful. Next time you're singing a pop song, you can come back, revisit and add in some of these tools. If you have got any questions, then pop them below in the comments and I will get back to you. Don't forget to hit subscribe and remember, be brave, do what you love. There'll be no limits to what you can achieve. I'll see you all next time. Bye.